Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kyla and I am a new media and communication student at Big University and today I will talk about Big. <laughs> so I got my notes here so I will be looking at my computer a lot since I have my notes here. So let's just go. First I want to talk about the campus. This is probably one of the most important topics when it comes to universities um, for especially socializing um, but I will talk about socializing um, in a few minutes so don't worry <laughs> and by the way if you have any questions you can always comment down below and I will try to answer them yeah <laughs> so for campus there are lots of green areas I was in the yoga club last semester and they did yoga during summer in the green uh, green area which was pretty good pretty energizing and it's like you're in nature so the amount of green area is perfect the campus is not too big or not too small it's I think the ideal size and yet there are also people playing volleyball or badminton or football or American football um, during summer and I think that like that is a very good way to socialize as well because there are lots of people spending time in the campus and there are also lots of people that go to school not just for the lessons but for the campus alone so it's good for socialize and also fun fact um in autumn the campus just gives gilmore girl vibes um i have my own study tree there and i just get my coffee or tea from somewhere and go to my study tree and study there and the vibes are like so good <laughs> there are people sitting over there um, people going to classes and it's just Gilmore Girls vibes and of course that would only make sense if you actually watch the series but <laughs> it's just a very good campus to study there are also uh, study halls inside the building but also you can study outside the buildings in the campus you can have your own study tree like I do <laughs> and I think it is very easy to find departments the only department I couldn't really find when I was touring was the law department it's in the back so I found there by accident <laughs> like I was just touring on my own and I found it <laughs> and it was by accident <laughs> but um yeah so you have to look kinda to find some buildings because um there's e4 building and i couldn't find that either but it's right next to chesm uh, which was a museum actually <laughs> before it turned to be a Department. <laughs> and uh, one good thing about the school is that it's very close to Besiktas. Besiktas is a place that, um, like, it has everything. You could go to clubs, nightclubs, you. Um, what else? <laughs> you could eat there. There are lots of different cafes and restaurants, and there are like. Oh, lots of good sushi restaurants as well if you like sushi but also there are um, like happy moons cook shop like um, classic restaurants that you could see literally everywhere in Turkey <laughs> in Istanbul um, and their food is very good as well and there are just lots of places to hang out in Besiktas so after school you could take shuttle um, to straight to Besiktas which is free and uh, you could go there and hang out with your friends so after school or before school there are lots of activities you can do near the school 
and going to Besiktas is a very good idea I think and you could take the ferry and go to Kadikei also if you want which is also a very good place to hang out there are lots 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 of things in Kadikei as well only thing I don't like about the campus is that it is very far away from the other side I go to school every day from the other side and it takes around one and a half hour to go there and uh, the journey is kind of tiring especially since Istanbul is very crowded um, it's very exhausting because I don't have a car I can't drive so I have to take public transportation and it's usually very very crowded and when I take the train I usually have nowhere to sit and also there are lots of people there so sometimes I feel like I can't breathe and that is a bad thing but um, <laughs> I got used to it so <laughs> yeah if you want to rent a place I recommend you to rent a place near school so you don't have to suffer every day like me <laughs> yeah going to school journey is kind of hard but the campus is good so <laughs> it's worth the journey i guess <laughs> and now i want to talk about foods and drinks there's a starbucks near the school and in the campus there's espresso lab cafe nero b lab and there is oh my god why is it so there are lots of places that you could eat and drink it's a bit expensive not gonna lie um so i sometimes bring food from home especially like breakfast because i don't want to spend a lot of uh, money <laughs> on breakfast um but there's a very good hamburger place if you like burgers definitely go there um very tasty i eat the crispy chicken burger there very delicious 100% recommended <laughs> um, it's a bit small so sometimes people can't really see the place um, but once you try the crispy chicken you will be satisfied a lot if you like crispy chicken burger of course <laughs> and yeah it's a bit expensive as i said but you know um a lot of places are expensive so okay now school clubs there are lots of clubs from badminton to cooking to economy to motorcycles to american football um to turkish literature and everything and everything most of the school clubs are actually in turkish but there are a few English clubs as well so what happens is actually if they're doing an activity um, with the people currently in the club um, they can speak English I think I mean I couldn't participate in a lot of clubs but if they're just like meeting up to get to know each other I think the language wouldn't be a problem but sometimes they bring guest speakers and mostly they speak Turkish <laughs> so that is a minus but I'm sure that there are English clubs as well that you could participate in like my goal is to participate in club activities because I joined many many clubs but I only participated in few activities I don't know why um but yeah so there are lots of activities actually um so yeah they do a lot of activities if you join the whatsapp group or follow any social club that you want to go to on instagram you could see the activities so yeah <laughs> so i was in literature club Bigile Patilage, which is like a club about helping animals and there are lots of dogs and cats in the campus too so if you're scared of dogs that's gonna be a bit of a problem I am kind of scared of dogs and um, I 
kind of had a hard time <laughs> um, getting used to the campus because there were lots of dogs running around but you get used to it after a while because the dogs are pretty cute and nice and sweet and also the cats uh, so it's a club about them and uh, I was also in economy and there's something about about like coding I don't know I don't know I don't know why I was in those clubs I'm not interested in economy or coding but whatever also in yoga club which did a lot of activities so if you're interested in yoga um, you could join that club because they did a lot of activities and they did some activities in the green area too during summer so that's a plus I also want to join the cooking um, club as well I saw the Instagram and they also did a lot of activities so I want to join that as well and yeah I guess that was it I mean I did join a lot of clubs but um, most of the time I don't read the whatsapp text so I don't even remember them <laughs> but whatever my goal is to be more consistent consistent with participating in club activities because I think it is a great way to socialize which is very important um yeah sometimes they bring guest speakers especially like I think economy club did bring a lot of guest speakers I'm not 100% sure but I did see a lot of guest speakers coming but they were I think all in Turkish or I don't know that what mostly in Turkish and sometimes they do online activities too but mostly it's face to face so it's easier to socialize as well and sometimes they do activities outside the campus but mostly it's inside the campus so especially if you live close to school it is easier to join the club activities because it's mostly um, after school, after the lesson, so sometimes 7 p.m., um, 6, 7. So, teachers, this I can't speak a lot about it because it changes from department to department. So you could find a lot of information about teachers and professors in the website, I guess. Um, but I am very satisfied with my teachers, they are very helpful, especially when it comes to finding internships and i did speak with one of my prof professor actually she did like a talk in the class saying that we could always come to her when we have a problem or when we just want to do an internship somewhere because the professors have more networks so you could always ask your professors to, f to not find you maybe but help you with an internship but I'm studying new media and communication and I could only speak for the teachers I saw and had a lesson with so I can't speak for all departments for new media and communication I am very satisfied with my teachers <laughs> but their English is good as well so if you're an international student I don't think that you would have a problem understanding a professor's English but if you do you could just ask <laughs> and socializing maybe this is one of the most important topics when it comes to university because we're all young and we want to have fun and socialize and have lots of friends so this was one of the topics I couldn't really focus on in the first year by the way I'm a second year student now um, because I mostly focus on getting used to the campus and since I lived very far away I was usually very tired when I came to school and I didn't have the energy to talk to new people I've hanged out with the same people I did in the beginning of the semester the first semester so I want to socialize more this new year <laughs> and what you can do to socialize is you could participate in school activities club activities um there are whatsapp chats for clubs school clubs um so maybe you'll get to know someone in there <laughs> and there are lots of friend groups sitting at espresso lab or cafe nero or B lab and in summers 
there are lots of friend groups that play volleyball or just lay on the ground and talk so if you're an extrovert you could just talk to them but if you're an introvert I think school clubs they're a good idea <laughs> I'm between extrovert and introvert so I think my choice will be participating in school activities <laughs> and yeah so also, if you come to Bilgi to study, you could always text me on Insta uh, to meet up <laughs> and we could have a cup of tea together or coffee if you like coffee. I don't like coffee. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you may have to make the first move um, because like right now everyone like not everyone but most people have their own friend group so you may have to make the first move um but there are also a lot of new students so don't worry especially if you're a first year student um you wouldn't have a very big problem in my idea in my opinion because no one knows each other <laughs> so that's a good thing actually you could meet new people <laughs> And as in network, I think it is easy to build networks because there are lots and lots of guest speakers coming to school. Um, but most of the time, they speak Turkish. So if you're an international student who doesn't know how to speak Turkish, this might be a bit of problem. But I'm sure that there are also speakers who speak English. <laughs> But also, if you can't build a network through guest speakers, you could always build a network with your professors and and they could help you meet new people. I think it is a very good idea to have a LinkedIn account. I have it and if you want, you can add me on there. And yeah, building a network during your university years is very important. So you could always ask your teachers to help you in this topic and I added one of my professor on LinkedIn actually <laughs> so um, if your professor allows that or wants to add you on LinkedIn I guess you could do that too and other things now I wanna tell some fun facts <laughs> There are lots of places to take photos in the campus. Like if you want to take an Insta pitch of yourself, you could always take very creative photos. <laughs> and also if you just like to take photos, like not yourself, but if you're interested in photography, there is a, an Instagram page. Um, I can't remember the name, but if I can find it, I will put it somewhere here. And they take photos of Bilgi, Bilgi campus and they post it there so if you're interested about the campus you could also visit that insta page because there are lots of pictures and yeah also there is a museum inside the school and when I first visited the school I went there and it was pretty interesting and I actually got lost there and I was alone and I had to FaceTime my dad to help me <laughs> so that was a journey <laughs> but it's actually pretty cool and th there are lots of cool stuff in the campus lots of interesting things and you could also take photos there <laughs> but if you're interested in like designs there are lots of cool things and uh, yeah the museum is actually very cool as well and yeah <laughs> also there are computers that you can use but there are also computer labs and studios there's a three big studios called rgb inside the communication building for communication students and they are so big and 
they're like huge and there are lots of equipment like camera equipment and etc lightings and like everything so you could rent those for free you just have to go to the big booking site and get a email from a teacher saying that it's okay for you to uh, rent those and you have to bring those equipments in time and uh, yeah it is actually very cool there are also lots of um, opportunities career wise you could go to big talent and join some programs there they also send you email so if you ever want to join a program um, you could just check your emails <laughs> a lot a lot a lot um, there are lots of different opportunities so that is a good thing about Biggie I guess <laughs> And um, I couldn't really talk a lot because I have guests in my house. <laughs> but yeah, so this is it. If you have any more questions, please comment them below and I will try to answer them. And uh, yeah, there's also a huge library um, in school, so you could study there and there are lots of access to books as well and you could like there are online books as well that you could get access from your computer <laughs> and uh, you could check those out because like if you like to read like me this is a very huge opportunity I mean yeah every school has library <laughs> like that is a basic thing but there are lots of different books, so if you're interested, just visit the Big Library page and uh, or if you go to tour the school, you could also visit the library. I guess um, the person who's supposed to show you the library will show you the library, but if not, you could always ask and they will show it to you, I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah if you have any more questions please comment them below and as i said if you come to biggie and you want to make new friends um i'm free <laughs> and you can text me on insta or you could just comment and say like hi i'm in biggie where are you are you here can we meet um but it is more likely that i will see the Instagram DM <laughs> and as I said if you have any more questions, please comment them below but if you're Really curious about numbers of professors in your departments and etc. You could visit the big official website and also um, you could look at the big Instagram um, Profile as well for more information and if you come to Biggie, let me know and maybe we'll become friends. <laughs> and hopefully I will see you in the next video and maybe in Biggie. <laughs> Goodbye, please subscribe, like and comment. Especially if you have questions, comment them below. You could also ask questions about Biggie through Instagram. But if you ask in the comment section, then other people can see it as well. <laughs> And, okay, goodbye. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Bye.